Jump! Jump harder. Hi, I'm Steve Boyd. I'm the Olympic lifting coach here at uh, CrossFit Overload. Olympic lifting is uh, working on the snatch and the clean and jerk. We also work, uh, we break down the lifts into different components and work uh, um, from different positions. So we may not do a full snatch or a full clean and jerk. We may do a hang snatch. Um, we may go from just above the knees, but it's basically um, focusing on just the snatch and the clean and jerk, uh, breaking up the movements or breaking up the lifts into separate movements so that we can put it all together and make it a great lift. I think it's important for people in general to learn uh, the techniques around Olympic lifting because it applies to many of the things we do outside of the gym. For instance, um, I love to play golf. Olympic lifting is about jumping, it's about using your hips and legs uh, in powerful explosive movements. A golf swing is the same way. Um, for those people that like to do other outdoor activities, uh, other sports, um, Olympic lifting will only help you in terms of core development and overall strength and power. The health benefits from uh, Olympic lifting would include uh, a more responsive central nervous system, uh, more kinesthetic awareness, uh, hormonal responses um, that would help us in, in certain uh, stressful situations, uh, as well as um, increase in bone density. What motivates me to coach is the desire to teach. And the more I teach, the more I realize that uh, I'm, I love to see discovery in people. I love to see people make discoveries on their own. It's almost this, um, what I'd call a, a guided discovery uh, for people. And I almost don't think I'm teaching them at that point. I think them, that I'm, to take phrases from other people, that I'm enabling learning in them. I think Olympic lifting is important for CrossFitters in that you're building on strength power, flexibility, balance, coordination, nearly all of the uh, general physical uh, skills that we're striving to improve in CrossFit. The one glaring success story uh, is with uh, Danielle Hale, who's uh, placed, uh, I think she was 10th or 11th in the Southern California Regional um, Qualifier last year. Her Olympic lifting has just gone through the roof, so she is definitely a success story I'm okay with the nicknames. Um, I'm okay with them because people identify me in different ways. I think also it's really fun.